Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance product. I just told you I didn't want to do no interviews and you said you are going to do interviews. <laughs> now you told me to do interviews. Now you're trying to take me away from them. No. <laughs> let me show, hey, let me show, let me show Dante's Boxing Nation some love. That's what I'm talking Dante, about. Dante, he, he's been at the Mayweather Boxing Club for years, uh, grinding, working hard. Dante also, you know, paid a lot of his own money, just like a lot of different other companies to support us. So I must show love back. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Live from Patty of Thailand. We're still out here right now. Uh, we were in Bangkok about two weeks ago. Now and I'm out here in Pattaya. I like Pattaya a lot more than Bangkok. But um, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about that in more videos. But I wanted to talk about some boxing news. Um, First up, I wanted to talk about this uh, fight between David Benavidez and Anthony Durrell, a fight that's been ordered. Um, this fight will most likely happen in September. That's a really good matchup. You know, I'm really happy what's going on in the super middleweight division. We're starting to get, you know, we've been watching these prospects come up for so long, and now they, um, they're starting to fight each other. David Benavidez, he's the monster at 168. I mean, he's the best fighter at 168, at least um, when it comes to uh, prospects or contenders, I should say. Actually, he's a champion now, right? So I can't even call him a contender right now. But, uh, you know, with with fighters like um, Caleb Plant, uh, even um, Caleb Smith, and a whole bunch of other fighters at that division, we got some good fights. But Anthony Durrell should be a real good test for David. But, uh, of course, David, uh, rightfully so, he should be the favorite in that fight. And I see him winning that fight. I see him winning that fight. I mean, we've seen Anthony Durrell. Uh, we've seen his performance against Badu Jack. And um, I'm just picking David Benavidez to win that fight. But once again, I'm happy the fight is going down. Yeah, I'm over here mobbing right now. I'm about to uh, do my little daily routine. Get my one hour massage, my one hour little foot massage for four dollars. So when y'all come out here to Thailand, you get yourself a massage for 150 or 200 baht. 150 baht, Thai money, that's like, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's like four dollars, okay? So you get massages every day out here if you want. But anyway, that's what's going on with that. So um, yeah, once again, like I said, the fight should be in September. I'm looking forward to watching that fight. And um, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I'm hoping that we get to see David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant. I think that's the fight to happen. And of course, the winner of um, that tournament, um, the Super Series um, tournament with uh, Caleb Smith in it, that's another um, good matchup. Whoever wins that tournament against either a Caleb Plant or a David Benavidez, that's a good fight. Yeah, you know, now hopefully, um, you know, Anthony Durrell, you know, hopefully he's listening and maybe this is motivation for him to put on a, a great performance. But uh, yeah, that's an uphill battle. That's an uphill battle for Anthony Durrell because David Benavidez is no joke. He is no joke. He's been very impressive in all of his outings. So, all right, guys, that's all I got. I'm on to the next one. Yep, yep.